Okay. Hey, what's up? So welcome to the channel. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Marlon Powell. I'm the founder of Art Vibes, and I'm basically an art advocate, a huge supporter for visual artists. And my main objective and goal is to really use my business experience to bridge the gap between the business world and the art world and really bring those two together and provide strategic tools, uh, interviews, discussions, you know, essentially resources to really help the artists win at the business of art. And so today I'm really excited to share with you an approach that I've, I've been observing and participating in as a consumer, as well as a collector and a buyer. And so I wanna give you some real firsthand experience on how you can create and generate a very strong additional stream of income for your art and your art business. And what I wanna to talk to you today about is broadcasting live, okay? And as I've shared with you in previous videos, if you followed any of my videos or my trainings, you know I'm a huge advocate and I champion, you know, selling your art through print production, creating additional streams through prints. And so what I wanna to talk to you today is about broadcasting live to sell your prints, as well as you can throw in your original artwork as well, but you can generate tens of thousands of dollars just from your prints broadcasting live. And I know many of you aren't very comfortable being in front of the camera and selling your art that way, but like anything in life, I promise you it's gonna be, it's one, it's gonna be worth it. It's not gonna be easy. You're gonna to have to you know, exercise your hustle muscle and really put in some sweat equity, but you know, with some time and practice, you'll definitely get more comfortable. Again, you have to be uncomfortable to be comfortable in business. You know, in order to be great, you're gonna to have to be not so good at something to get good, and then you have to be good in order to be great. And like Mac Malcolm Gladwell says, you're gonna to have to put in your 10,000 hours. But once you put that practice in, I promise you, you'll be much more comfortable being in front of the camera, as well as selling yourself through these platforms. I, you know, I wasn't always comfortable being in front of the camera. I was more of a behind the scenes guy. I was writer producer. I like creating from the background, but I knew in order to take my business to the next level, I was going to have to learn how to get in front of the camera and not only sell myself, but sell my products through video platforms. It's just so much more competition in the marketplace today that it's, it's not enough to just sit back and let your art sell, uh, sell itself. You're gonna to have to be you know, in front of the camera, you're gonna to have to sell yourself, and you're gonna to have to share your story and attach it to your artwork. And there's no better way to do that right now and connect with your audience through utilizing this technology and using live broadcasting. So what I really wanna to talk to you today about is broadcasting live specifically on Facebook. Now there are other streaming services and platforms, social media platforms that you can use, but today for this example, and from my experience, we're talking specifically about Facebook Live. And again, I wanna reiterate that I have been participating for months now, observing artists do this extremely well, and they're, they've been very successful selling their art through Facebook Live, as well as I've participated as a buyer and a collector. So I'm giving you firsthand experience, you know, how powerful uh, this can be. And it's very simple, you know, I don't want to mistake this for being easy. You know, if you know me, I don't share a narrative of anything being easy. You know, again, you have to put in, you have to exercise your hustle muscle and put in some work, but it's going to be worth it. And I'm not talking about reaching tens of thousands of people and driving them to your live audience uh, or your live broadcast. I'm actually talking about just a small segment of people that you're gonna nurture and cultivate a relationship with and let it grow from there. And again, uh, you'll be able to generate thousands of dollars and you'll see how you can uh, earn and generate up to you know, 60K in a, you know, in a year just selling prints. You can incorporate your original works of art in this as well, but this specifically is gonna be a very, very powerful tool for your prints, uh, for merchandise uh, and just your brand in general. And so I wanna show you, I didn't create any fancy illustrations. I just wanna make it plain and simple and show you the basic numbers of how I came to this uh, dollar amount. And also, again, this isn't hyperbole. This is something that I've actually witnessed and seen. And I'm using averages and I'm using averages on the low end because the artists that I've participated with uh, their lives and I've observed their lives, 
they're generating way more than what I'm going to share with you today in this video. But I wanted to make it very simple because some of those artists, they are seasoned artists. And so for emerging artists, for, you, for artists starting out, I wanted to use the numbers on the lower end. So as you can see here, again, we're talking about, you know, not a large amount of people. We're talking about 90 to 100 people that you're going to, you know, reach out to and get to RSVP to your live event. Now, whenever I do a live event, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of event it is, I always use the rule of thirds, okay? That's just something that I learned years ago and it's almost always accurate. You know, it's not a perfect science, but it's usually around this ballpark, okay? So this, is, this, is, this means, this uh, slide is actually showing you that 90 people actually RSVP'd. So if 90 people RSVP for your live event, then the rule of thirds says, well, only about a third of those people are gonna actually be interested, okay? And so you're gonna essentially have about 30 people that are gonna actually be interested in your live event, but then we wanna break it down you know, into another thirds because of those 30 people, you want actual buying uh, clients and collectors, okay? And so after those 30 people, you break it down again and you're actually gonna probably have about 10 people who are actually gonna purchase from your live event. They're actually gonna purchase your artwork. And this is actually what I've been observing. You know, the labs that I've participated in, there were only usually about 90 to 120 people that are actually watching or on the live. But the actual activity of the people uh, engaging and buying and putting the the number associated with the art and saying bought or buy, you know, sold, sold, sold. These are people who, these are about 10 to 12 people on average. And you don't need a lot of people because with those 10 people on average, they're buying about five to six or seven prints each, okay? And so if you have, if you have 10 people purchasing five, prints or five works of your art each on average at $25. Again, we're not talking about huge price points and we're not talking about a lot of people, but you have 10 people who are each buying five pieces of your artwork at around $25. That's $1,250 for that one live event. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to tier your art offerings where you may have you may have some higher price points. You may have, again, you may have canvas prints or G clay or that higher quality print paper where you may, I've seen artists selling from three to four to $500 per the higher end prints, but then I've seen them sell, they, they have offerings for uh, stickers as low as two and $3, okay? They, they offer the stickers for, you know, this is something that you can use to incorporate, you know, they'll tell the, their, their clients or the buyers, you can actually attach these stickers to your certificate of authentication binder, or you may want to put this on your laptop to decorate your laptop. So you want to get very creative how you, you know, create your products, your art products, and how you offer them or sell them to your potential buyers and give them options of how to use it. Okay, you can do postcards, you can do stickers, you can do different things to tier your price points, but on average, your prints, you know, if you can get five, you know, to 10 people to pay $25 for your prints, then you're looking at a significant amount of money for these live events. And you want to encourage them to not only buy the art for them, you want to buy art is to be shared, right? You want to share it with the world. You want to share it with your friends and your loved ones. So the way to get them into buying more than just one, you want to encourage them to buy them as gifts. You know, we're entering the holiday season and what better gift uh, would it be to receive a work of art from your family member or a friend? You know, you can put it, you know, in your office or your works, your home workspace. You know, if it's, it doesn't have to exactly be de uh, decor for your actual house on your walls, it can be, you know, something that you use, uh, you know, in your rec room or your workspace, you know, or it could be, again, something that you use to decorate your laptop if it's a sticker, or it can be used to just, you know, share with someone that you know that's really into art. So you want to be creative about how you actually package it. But again, 
the goal is to get about 10 people to buy five each. OK, and, and you get them to buy more than one by encouraging them to share it. You know, I, the, the last event that I participated in, I bought about 12 prints, 11 or 12 prints. And <clears throat> I bought five for me personally and I gave out six or seven as gifts. OK, and so on average, again, those individuals, they're going to buy more than one. And you want to we're not talking about, you know, broadcasting live multiple days throughout the week. This is once a week, okay? This is on this this one particular artist who's doing very, very well. He broadcasts live on Wednesdays, okay? And so you take that one day uh, to broadcast live and then you have six days to promote and, and, and work towards the next event, okay? To get another group of uh, 90 to 100 people. And then you use the process of thirds to weed down to your core 10, to 12 people who are actually going to buy your prints and your work of art. And so if you do this once a week, you know, that's essentially $5,000 a month, you know, and which we know we do the math, $5,000 a month for a year, and you're at $60,000 for that year, just off of print, you know, print sales. And so again, you can incorporate your original works of art and you can supplement it. And I'm not saying that you're gonna get here, a, you know, Right off the back, again, you're going to have to grow your audience. If you don't already have an audience, you know your goal should be to really work at building your audience and reaching people through your social media platforms, through your email list. If you follow my trainings or if you bought any of my trainings, you know that you know I emphasize the importance of driving your traffic to your website, capturing the email, and then communicating with your audience through email, building that no like, and trust factor through email communication. And then you can drive them to your live events where you can uh, provide your art offerings and drive them to the sale. And so that's gonna be it guys. You know, again, it's very, very simple. It's a, but it's a very powerful stream of income and an approach. And it's something that I've seen work very, very successfully for artists. And I just wanna get this out there to uh, more of you uh, because I just don't see enough artists fully utilizing this uh, live broadcasting option to sell your artwork. And so if you found v value in this video and you found this to be educational and you learned something, please leave a comment, please subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, I would love to hear from you. And again, keep creating, and I look forward to connecting with you guys on the next video. Take care.